time of the year, isn't it? You know, the time of year where we all got told we're having to go back to school. Six weeks holiday or wherever you are in the world, quite a long summer break, and then returning. Returning normally to a new classmates, new books, new teachers. Did you like it? Well, it's no different, you know, for royal children. And seemingly, Prince George has got a bit of a reprieve. That's all thanks to his brilliant mum, of course, Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. So let me explain how. Morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have your company as ever. This story, you know, it really does resonate with all of us, doesn't it? I don't know about you, I wasn't a fan of school. The minute I could add up, read and write and all that sort of stuff, I kind of got bored. Liked history, as you can imagine. Uh, liked drama, as you can imagine. But the other things I found quite a lot of the waste of time. The things that I found really annoying about school was nobody taught you about banking, saving, mortgages, how to pay bills, the essentials of life. It's all very nice learning about Oliver Cromwell and stuff like that. What about what's going on in the real world once you have to get into the real world? Are you with me? That seemingly could be the case now for, of course, uh, His Royal Highness Prince George, who's delighted as uh, this Platinum Jubilee celebrations. I, don't know, but I loved him. I thought he looked brilliant at Wimbledon. But, of course, his mum is very concerned. And as we know, she is a brilliant mum, not afraid of showing her feelings in public, uh, public displays of affection, as they're notably called in the modern age. And I think that's nice. It makes the royal family resonate with real people. At this point now that Prince George's schooling really takes into effect. Now, as we know, normally with royal children, they've either gone off to private schools and more importantly boarding schools stuff like that we do know his royal highness prince charles was not a fan of his boarding school in fact very unhappy there as he later revealed now could he be the person that stepped forward to advise william and catherine about prince george because according to a very good source originally the idea was to send him off to be a boarder that is to stay at the school for the periods Apparently, after much chat with Prince George and Catherine, it was decided, and I'm assuming it's probably more to do with her, because she's going to miss him, like all mums do, that they were going to delay this particular idea, possibly now until he's around about 12 years old. Now, you know, when you go to boarding school, I never did, but I've had friends that do, it's a real groundbreak, you know, you make friends for life, but you also become very independent very quickly. And as we've seen, it can have good and bad side effects. I'm assuming really that William and Catherine wanted to make their children more relatable and more importantly more understanding of the real world that they're going to be living in want to make sure that George gets the real essence of life in schooling before he has the privilege of going over to learn at a higher level. Some of us aren't lucky enough to do that and I don't mean that in a cruel way, that's the way it goes. But I think for George, Catherine and William it will be nice to know at least for the next few years that seemingly George will be back and forth from school rather than missing, as of course happened to His Royal Highness Prince Charles and our wonderful monarch who was very busy at being a young bum but more importantly being a monarch and obviously that's had some sort of detrimental effect to His Royal Highness Prince Charles. One I think he's not afraid to speak out about and particularly now when it concerns his very much younger family and the monarchy moving forward. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.